Let me know when we're live. You're live! Are we live? We're live. We're live. It's been so long. I know. It's been two weeks. <laughs> oh my gosh. We haven't been live for two weeks. How's anyone survived without us? I don't know. How would have survived without them? Um, Our oh, audience, Amy. We have, do we have comments? Do we have comments? I'm going to just double check and um, see. Watch the live video. We have one viewer what? live with us right now. Would that be the lovely Jane? Uh, no. She'll speak. Someone will speak soon. No. Who's no. someone else? Two other people. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, two people. Uh, say hi. Say hi to us so we know you're there. I know. Yes. Everyone starts their lives this way, and it's always awkward for everybody, but we know that you are there, and hello. Valda. It was Valda. Valda. Valda was the first one on. Awesome. She beat Jane. She beat Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Valda. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Wednesday night for the Coriander Social Hour. I'm Sarah, one of your hosts. Hostess? Oh, yes. Jane is here. Jane, Jane is, is here. here. And Jane is another host. Jane is a... Uh, uh, in Guelph, but she joins us in the chat. So if you would like to chat and say hello, she represents Coriander in the chat. So if you have any questions, she's there to answer them for you. Mm -hmm. I'm Sarah, and behind the camera is Amy, who's probably gonna pop on. I sure will. I know what I can do to lure Amy on. Ha 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 ha. Baldwin, this is the bottle I bought when we were making the peach drinks. Oh, um, and yes. It's, it's the crappy bottle of sparkling wine, as opposed to your lovely bottle that you kindly, kindly gave us for our 21st uh, birthday party. Sorry, Jane. Lots of love. Uh, she was here before Valda, my correction. Oh, I know. That's, that's insulting. All right. Do you have glasses, my darling? No. No, they're right there. Oh, I just thought maybe if I... I thought you... <laughs> I thought you meant reading glasses. I was like, I don't need reading glasses. <laughs> well, we were going to talk about reading glasses. We are going to talk about peepers. I think that's where my brain was. We finally um, have peepers. These are not peepers, but I'm going to get some. Jeepers. Peepers reading glasses <laughs> on our website. So shopcoriander.com mm -hmm. is where you're going to see everything that we have to mm -hmm. share tonight for you. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched before, we tag everything. If you go to our website, www.shopcoriander.com, mm -hmm. across the top bar is a, a section, a word, it says social hour. If you click on that, it'll give you a list of everything we're talking about tonight. So you don't have to search and say, what did she say? What was that brand? Okay, here we go. Wow! Oh. I almost took that mannequin out. I was worried about the light bulb more than anything. Uh, One day we'll get a light bulb. It'll be a goal, Amy. A go uh, are these the kind of goals we should be having? I think this is like, we've been doing this for, I don't know, 17 months or something. I think we could have a goal like that. Yeah. What do you think, Jane? I, uh, you know what a better goal is? To be open. Yes. To be open in two weeks. Wouldn't that be two weeks, one week? No. You know what? Two so weeks. I, did everyone hear uh, Ford's announcement today? I'll swap you. Okay. Uh, I'll give you the more full one. <laughs> <Can> I? <laughs> yeah. I'm taking the whole bottle. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Tell us what you're drinking. We always like to know. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab the bottle from you and I'm gonna update our comments. And I know, please tell everyone though about our new, up, Ford's new update. Yeah, so, uh, well, I mean, you, you probably know more than I do, but I did hear him talk today. And he said, because we've been so great in Ontario and our numbers are going down, they're gonna probably open us earlier than the 14th, which is really an interesting thing. I just, it's, uh, we all wanna be open, but we also all need notice to be open. And uh, this last minute thing isn't necessarily uh, good for anybody. Uh, but sadly, kids aren't going back to school. And uh, I mean, maybe that's a political hot potato, but I know a couple moms that are really, really upset about that decision. Uh, well, maybe, um, maybe we'll get our stores open next week. And we are thinking that perhaps that might happen. Mm -hmm. um, if we do get opened earlier than the 14th, we've made a decision. We really have a lot of work to do to pull the stores together. We have a lot of product to get out there. We've got to remerge everything. We have to bring a team back. The team, the staff have been, you know, off. Uh, it's just been three of us, so we really have to bring them back into the into the workspace and get everyone oriented again. So it's going to take a few days. The earliest we could possibly open would be next Friday. That's mm -hmm. what we calculate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we think. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So if not Monday for sure, the fourteenth absolutely will be open, but earliest the Friday, which might be a bit tough if people expect things earlier than that. Yeah, we're we're. I think I think it'll be seamless, and I think once we get the ball rolling, it'll be great. Frankly, all of those things, as intimidating as they are, 
are not a lot in comparison to the desperation we are experiencing not having you in <laughs> yes. our stores. Very so true. we're very, very excited to just have you guys come back in. We say, I will say this, we're not built for this, right? We're, this is not what we, we are <laughs> bricks and mortar retail uh, with a fabulous website. Yes. 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 So we mentioning. do have that, but uh, but we, we we thrive on people. Hi, Vicky. So good to see you. Vicky sent me a very lovely email. I'm gonna. Can I make a quick announcement? Yeah. Um, I want to thank everyone who was here, well, virtually, to support my uh, moving endeavors. And I'm <laughs> saying this because I received a lovely email from uh, Vicky. Uh, about an updated potential rental opportunity. So I'm gonna tell you, Vicky, because you're here and you emailed me, but everyone, that I found a new apartment. He did. Super excited and it's been great. Um, it'll be awesome, you know, you get through all the unpleasantries of unpacking and moving and you're but all sweaty. You moved in this weekend, right? Yes, yeah, so it happened. Monday. Um, it's been great. Thank you, Vicky, in saying that, and everyone who helped support me through that. So thanks, guys, it was, it was good. And then pretty soon we'll all be able to go to your house and. Yeah, and, uh, hang out maybe, in her we'll backyard. A, maybe we'll do a live at my house. <laughs> what do are we doing live, live at all of our house. houses? That would be so cool. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll, we'll do we'll do mine first and then yours after. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I think we're having a bonfire. I don't know, Meg had some, remember we talked about having a bonfire? Yeah, we'll, we'll include this. We'll do like the Coriander Stylist like house tour, sort of like cribs tour <laughs> when you all, when the Guelph party bus comes yeah, down. Yeah, when the Guelph party comes Yeah. Down. We have big plans for the rest we of the We do have lots of plans. Um, and thank you, my aunt joined and such those my outfit. Thank Thank you very much. She always look lovely. Love You're it. You're wearing the new pants by thought. I am. Um, I I really just need to get these pants. I love these pants. Uh, I wore them. Not obviously we didn't have last week. The live prior in that really beautiful floral print. They're awesome, awesome pants. I love them. Mm -hmm. I had a four on in those, and I actually have a six on in these, and both I think look fantastic. Yeah, so, they look great. Uh, thanks, Auntie. Very nice to see you. Mm, nice, nice. It's hard to see. It's sort of a. Um, a taupey brown mm -hmm. without being brown, you know, yeah. and a and a natural stripe, like yeah. really pretty. And you paired it with one of our same wa I did. camis. Yes, the crop top crop top trend um, has been trending a lot. Um, a lot of what I'm seeing are actually blazers over top, but. Um, I love, I'm loving crop tops. I would have never ever put one on a year ago and now I'm absolutely loving really? them. Really? Yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'll go back to crop I tops. I think, I think because <laughs> high-waisted <laughs> pants are, yes. are so mom relevant jeans. in the mom jean, like now that we have these higher things to meet with shorter yeah. tops, it, it's really interesting. So tunic tops and leggings are out and crop tops and tall pants are up. That's yeah. right. Yes. That's right. Well, I'm going to stay the other way. I don't think I'll go to crop tops. I won't do that to you. I really won't. <laughs> um, and you're wearing a beautiful kimono. I am. Yes. yes. I have a store filled with kimonos and I think it's going to be the summer of the kimono because we, I can't stop buying them. They're just so great. We're getting another shipment in next week. Mm. I haven't told you that. I yeah. have not. I have no. not. I didn't tell you. No. So we're getting, me. <laughs> yes. But we have a, we have a beautiful rack of kimonos, like a, a substantial amount of kimonos with more coming. So, uh, well, I love kimonos. They, I love kimonos yeah, too. Good and floaty for the summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, hmm. Hmm. Your and dress. Tell us about your dress. Oh, this is, well, you know, my favorite brand is Cut Loose, and this is Cut Loose. Did you mm -hmm. see we got two boxes of Cut Loose arrived today, too? No, nope, didn't see that. Yeah, we haven't, <laughs> <laughs> we haven't. We haven't unpacked yet, but there's more Cut Loose. So um, this is my favorite Cut Loose shift. This has been a classic in the line forever. I mean, how could you go wrong with a navy shift and these beautiful shoes by Ilse Jakobsen from um, Switzerland, from, <laughs> from Denmark. <laughs> So I know I pitch. I, I mean, I, we, we barely do a show without me talking about these. Look at this lovely blood red color. I think they're fantastic. And of course, the I'm keeping this pair. It's mine. This comes out super cozy <laughs> and soft. Um, sort of a it's an aerated fit. I've been wearing mine all for the last two weeks straight with nothing else. And you can put them in the washing machine. And dare I say it, you can put them in the dishwasher. What? I just say that. I say that to gross Jay now. But that's what they told me. In the dishwasher? Yeah, it's just, it's like a synthetic to your fiber. Like plate that you had spaghetti on that night? So? You, <laughs> you, you wash them with your underwear, don't you, in the washing machine? I don't I know. thought you meant in the dishwasher. Yeah, I put my underwear and my shoes and my dirty dishware all in the dishwasher at the same well, time. Well, you can wash them in the sink. You can wash them any way you like. But they are water, they're water resistant. I mean, you can wear them in a puddle and you're fine. They'll dry out. Great shoes and uh, really fun colors. They're all on the website. Oh, I don't think we tag them, but you'll have to 
you'll find them yourself. If you look up shoes, it's really the only pair we carry. You'll find them. So anyway, we have a pretty good, we're at the gift store today because we wanted to talk about a bunch of sort of outdoor living gifts because it sounds mm -hmm. like it's the summer we're going to be living outdoors yes. a lot on our decks and our um, balconies and verandas and who isn't itching to park? be outside right now. We are kicking the cold weather to the curb. Goodbye. Good riddance. We only, I only want to see hot sunny days going it's forward. true, but you know what happens in the spring, early summer in particular, we see a lot of uh, the mosquito family. Oh yes, black fly season I believe just yeah, we, ended as well. Or yeah, we're, kind we're of just still exiting. in it, and then we're and then the deer flies haunt us very soon. So we are blessed to be Canadian because we get the. I spent some time in Africa when I was working with a women's cooperative there, and we thought mm. there were mosquitoes. Like we thought, oh my gosh, mosquitoes! It's Africa, and in actual fact, they were these little tiny things that there was like one or two every mm -hmm. night. It was hardly anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to take malaria pills because they carried you know illnesses, but nothing like the blood suckers that live in you know. It's terrible. Around here. It's pretty bad. The Muskoka, you think the Muskokas are bad? It's still like pretty, it's not great here. I, I've been pretty lucky. I haven't really experienced it because I'm just in town. But because for, it's true. It's, yeah, it's mosquito and, bad. Yeah. So we have a great product line called Scheme. Maybe we'll start right there. You, no, we're not supposed to start there, but we started. That's okay. Yeah, we're going to start no, and then we're going to talk about the main event after this. Okay. So this is Scheme. I mean, I'm going to let you talk about Scheme for a okay, second. Okay, so Scheme is... You're the um, expert. There's a, a couple out of California, husband and wife duo, who, who in 2009, I believe, created a line called Scheme, and the whole thing was Scheme is named Scheme because it was their scheme to get away from their corporate jobs. I don't know. But they are they have beautiful design sense, and they create beautiful products. Uh, they have an environmental bed. Every, all the containers they use are low plastic, and uh, they use re, re, um, the containers can be used for other things. So so they're known for, oh, I didn't get the other, remember the matches on the oh, shelf? Okay, yeah. So they're known for these fabulous matches, um, tall, tall matches with a striking spot on the jar. So it's a beautiful gift for someone. These ones just came in yesterday. They're sort of a celestial star pattern, black. They're, they're matches that may not be super clear to you what they're tall matches. So they're great for lighting fireplaces or... And there's even a little, I'll just show here, there's um, a, a little... Scratch, um, yeah. Yeah, a strike, uh, a, a strike spot. Thank you, yeah. So um, I'll show the Instagram viewers to the little close. So it's really cool. You don't have to worry about where you're lighting it. You just strike it on the side of the glass bottle. So they're famous for these bottles of, of candles. No, sorry, um, matches. Uh, so this is two that we have in the store. We have a shorter one as well, but there we go. They're on the website, guys, under Scheme. Um, they're famous for that, but this summer, we, they, have, they launched a new product line um, of these citronella incense sticks. They, they make this whole series, it's just beautiful. So this is actually a little plate that has a, a, a pottery knob in it that you can put the end of the stick. So this is where you put your incense stick. And these are the incense sticks. And they're beautiful. You get up, you get 50 sticks in this. You burn it only outdoors. You don't do this inside. Yes, that is a huge warning. Do not burn them inside your house. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so you light the incense, blow, blow out the flame, and allow the stick to smoke. And the smoke keeps the unwanted flying insects away. And it, they last about an hour each stick. They smell fantastic. They're delicious. Um, this is citronella blended with ocean air, sea salt, and jasmine. Um, and it's proven to be an insect repellent made of the leaves and stems of the lemon grass plant. Uh, it repels insects by masking the odors uh, biting insects are attracted to, i.e. us. <laughs> um, and it's a unique formula that smells great while keeping bugs at bay and contains no DEET or synthetic pesticides. So it's, you just don't burn them inside because you're not supposed to burn them inside, but it's not unhealthy. You're not, it's not DEET. It's mm -hmm. not like those mosquito coils. Did you, yes, as a kid, yes. did you ever... I used to get... I took for camping? camping, yeah. Yeah. They are actually sealed in a package, otherwise I'd show you, but they are... This is what they look like. They smell amazing and actually are very lovely... Um, Hmm. Uh, Jen is on our live right. on Facebook and she said she is using hers right now <laughs> um, and that they're they smell amazing and guess what no bugs no bugs this is a nut product that just arrived and this is also from the line this is the citronella verbena natural outdoor body spray I really so this try it. yeah I know it's it's really quite cool 
So this is, um, you know, Cicinel is a proven all-natural insect repellent made for the leaves and stems of the lemongrass plant. And this is sort of, this you, you spray all over yourself. Again, no DEET, no pesticides, um, pretty jar. All these things are great little gifts, too. If you're doing a little house party present, or heaven forbid, you get invited over to someone's back deck for a beer or a glass of wine or a bonfire or whatever, you could bring this as a gift. Um, there's a body balm, so if you don't want to use a spray, this is a body balm that you can put on your key spots. It's pretty lovely, it's a little thicker um, and quite nice. Uh, there's also citronella tea lights. So if you don't like the idea of an incense stick and you just want to light the citronella candles in small, a little bit at a time, this is the little pot you can put them in. Um, but they're just just little tea lights. Very uh, simple. I have to say that the, Pop it in the, here. the images, like everything they use is, is so beautiful. Packaging um, is beautiful. I love the packaging. I'm just really going to pull this. I know the lighting isn't great for Facebook viewers, but look at that. It's just so gorgeous. Great candle. So this um, is the other candle here. This is, this is, there's two <laughs> designs, that one and this one. Um, and these are actual, rather than the little mini ones, this is a bigger one. They're beautiful. And they're like it's a it's a ceramic jar, right? It's not a plastic jar. It's a real cork. When this jar melts down, they want you to use the jars for. I would love to reuse this. Yeah. See, That's now in your new cool. place, you've got a backyard. I eh? have a fireplace too. Oh my gosh! I know. Okay, so if you don't want to use a citronella-based product because you're not that interested in bugs and it really doesn't excite you, these candles are to die for. Isn't that? I love. I'm also gonna take the lid off of this one just so we can show everyone because really their mm. detail work, everyone is. It's really, really beautiful. So we have white tea and thyme. Isn't this fun? Selling scented products over the internet. This doesn't work, does it, guys? Trust us when I say they smell beautiful. Dune sage. This is soy wax, by the way. And fleur de sel. That's the newest one, right? Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got these beautiful candles. Love, love this line. Every single stylist who's been working here is like. <gasps> Every time it comes in, we're all like. <sighs> No, you just want to smell everything and it, it doesn't take a lot like even taking the lid off the smell like wafts so nice it's they're beautiful it's not overbearing the packaging is great like and I, I love it. I've got a I've got the a super powerful nose like a really yes so I'm scent averse so if, if I can tell if you're wearing new deodorant and, and, and I'm Ted which she me. has <laughs> or so my shampoo or all those things those synthetic smells I can't walk down the in the grocery store I can't walk down the detergent aisle oh because it just it's, it's all all those it's just yeah it just it just that makes sense right yeah it's, as I got older sent more sensitive well I've always been sensitive but anyway um, this line because it's all natural ingredients does not it doesn't it doesn't affect me burn my nose mm -hmm. turn me off anything like that so anyway that's just a, a scheme is a line that we really like and everyone's been dying for us just mm -hmm. there's one more collection that we're not showcasing tonight and it's the Palo Alto collection and that's another choice. Palo Alto is a special wood from South America. It also is an insect repellent, and they combine it with citronella, and you mm. burn those sticks. Interesting. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm. Slightly different packaging, but really beautiful. So anyway, I'm Skeen. interested. S A E E M. <laughs> e -E mm -hmm. So you can find it on our website. And Jane's been great. If you guys have any questions, or if you're not seeing a link, or if there's um, a link for a product you want to see, ask Jane. She's there, happy to uh, share all those, all that information with you. Great. Okay, let's talk about the fun thing. Clothes? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> we already talked about clothes. We talked about our outfits. That's just a taste, though. I know. Um, um, we're talking about our favorite things box. Yes, yes. Of course. So, of course. It's been a year in the making, but we finally, finally got our subscription box. I know, it was a big deal. Drum roll, please. I don't know, when the store's open, there's no time to do all these things, but we, we put our heads to it this time, and we have decided we want to do a subscription box. It's sort of a trend, but we also think it's perfect for like our brand, because we are a store filled with a million... Ooh, you all right there? Yep, 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 we're good. It's got your... She got caught by the garden, the garden art we're going to show you next. So it's a, a, a subscription box is where you subscribe to a, a repetitive um, launch of something. So we've decided to do a seasonal subscription box. That means spring, sorry, summer, fall, winter, and spring. So every three months, we release a box 
Uh, and in the box, we're putting all sorts of things, special things. We call it Coriander's favorite things. So these are a little bit of a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and we put them together. We add a lot more than the value. The cost of the box is ninety-nine dollars, but the value in the box is a lot higher. Often it's things that we haven't show, haven't sold in the store yet, or things that are bestseller things in the store. So you get a mix of a little a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, uh, a mystery, so you may know about one or two things. The theme is, in this case, it's summer. Mm -hmm. um, and we're making, uh, we are making a limited number of these boxes. So there's a bit of scarcity involved here. We have launched it on Sunday. It's the first time we launched our favorite things box. And we've sold half of them, Amy, already. Already? I know, it's Wednesday. Isn't that nuts? That's so great. Because remember that's not a lot of time. No. That's not a lot of. Do you remember the little video boxes. I made you do with me last week? I sure do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Amy, just just you know, we, we made this cute little video, and our friend it'll be like, it'll be like five minutes, <laughs> like half an hour later. Well, it was a it was a it's a little video that shows you a few of the products that are going in the box, mm -hmm. and a few things are mysteries. So for ninety nine dollars, you're gonna get us. You're gonna get a monthly. Uh, sorry, uh, every three months, you're gonna get a box from us, a seasonal box filled with treats from Coriander. Mm -hmm. um, and so we thought we'd we're launching it with our summer box. If you mm -hmm. want to bring it over, absolutely. And we have, I have to say, we have big shout outs to Linda who threw that together the video really quickly. Um, yeah. So and I had a lot of fun and if you haven't checked it out you definitely should the video is like a little teaser of what you might be on our um, getting on our website in this very very beautiful Jane might even bag. Be able to put a link to it I don't know if you can do a link to a video I think she already posted it so this is um this is a uh, blue Q bag so blue mm -hmm. Q um, is it's it's what do you... blue Q is awesome so we have prior to this actually carried these totes in our store for sale we still have um, a nice little selection on um, the and website. I, also on the website um, but they're awesome because um, Blue Q, which you would know the socks as well, um, it's, well, A, they're great for organization, um, but 1% of the purchases of these bags also goes to help uh, support environmental initiatives around the globe, and they've already actually donated over $300,000 just from the sale of these bags alone, wow. which is awesome. That is awesome. Um, they're, they're really, really cool. I, I love them. I love them. And see, so they've, they've got two little sets of handles. Just mm -hmm. poke. So you're asking me, wait, sorry, you're talking about a subscription box that looks like a bag to me? I, so I know, I earlier said, I'm like, are you sure I'm typing box and not bag? And it's she said, yes, box. It's because we're going to box. That's it. Sometimes <laughs> it'll be a box, sometimes it'll be a bag, but we're calling it a subscription box. Mm -hmm. Short handles for when you're like, you know, trucking to, to and fro somewhere efficiently, and long handles when you're doing, going for your stroll at the market. I love this. Hey, what a great beach bag, too. The Collingwood Farmer's Market's open. It is. So uh, for all of you local people who either haven't been yet or are are thinking of going um, we love that we want to support obviously all local endeavors the lines have been very long so every Saturday morning I've gone into work um, around 10 just before 10 and the line has been around yeah. the block I like know. I mean they're doing great they're trying to be safe but uh, definitely get yeah, there early if you're only, thinking they, of going they limit the number of people who mm -hmm. can go in absolutely okay. so bring your bag with you bring your bag absolutely with you. okay so we're just gonna show you a couple things and these are the things on the video so I'm only gonna I'm gonna do one more thing that no one but the people who watch tonight. A reveal. A reveal. So we. This is the one of these beautiful. I just have one here, but they come in a million colors. I'm getting one. Yes. I'm getting one for the summer. Yeah. I always want these one. These are Turkish towels. They're beautiful, beautiful Turkish towels from Turkey. If you don't know anything about Turkish towels, you're gonna want this. It is highly absorbent, beautiful cotton, super soft, washes like a dream. You can wear it as a beach wrap. You can wear it as a shawl. But really, it's it's a towel, mm -hmm. and it's way better than the kind of traditional towel that we mm -hmm. use, the, the looped towels that we use. Um, so we have some Turkish towels and there's going to be a beautiful, colorful or neutral uh, Turkish towel in your bag. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Oh, have we even talked about these? You know what? I was thinking about that when we were doing this video. So I don't know everyone if we've actually talked in a live about the kick-ass caramels. Um, kick ass caramels. I have been, I've never been so tempted to, I every time I open the fridge to put my lunch in there, I just want to rip a bag open no, and can't. eat them. And I can't, I'm not going to. They're in the fridge because we got them just as we locked down. We're like, yeah. okay, we're going to hide them. Nancy Razzo emailed me today and she said they are delicious. She got, she Did got she? one Did she? She tried them? Fifth Saturday box. Nancy, if you loved them, I'm going to 
take a quick break and talk about the website. So we're always updating um, parts of the website. We now have a product review section Ooh, on yeah. our website. Thank Nancy, you. if you feel like taking a quick second to talk about how kick-ass the kick-ass caramels were, yeah. we would love that. We love, we want the rest of the world to know how awesome our products so they are. So they are made in Alberta and they're hand done small batch. So um, each one's delicious. Nancy told me in an email that she told her mother to hide them because they're just, <laughs> <laughs> very Moorish, I, you know, probably eating the whole bag. And they're made in Canada. It's a Canadian yeah. product, which is awesome. We want to so we kick, support kick that. So caramels come in a bunch of flavors. This mm -hmm. is caramel in the nude, but there's different flavors. So you're going to get to try them in your subscription oh box. God. Nancy's saying that the caramels are out of this world. Okay, I'm buying a bag. I'm, I, I, I'm serious, Nancy. I stare at them every single day and my tummy <laughs> she, like she gurgles. She actually didn't have any dinner tonight. I know, yeah, so I'm also very champagne. hungry. You'll be fine. I'll go grab. Um, <laughs> this is another product that we, we're going to, we're going to probably end up selling in the store. This is a friend of mine who owns the St. Jacob's Candle Company, and these are beautiful sweet candles. They so, smell delicious. Oh this one is um, bright citrus, sweet florals, and spicy vanilla. Can it's I reveal another scent? scent? Yeah. Um, there's another candle scent uh, called Sugared Watermelon, is and it, it I is... Not yet. Oh my god, I, it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like summer. So it they all amazing. have a summer theme. There's Muskoka Nights. There's... I can't remember them all. Uh, watermelon or sugared watermelon and something else. We got a bunch of them, so it will be a surprise when you get your bag and which one you'll get. And then we'll have them in the store to purchase, but we won't have mm -hmm. them yet because they're all hand done. Um, so lovely, and, and look at this cool little graphic. And I think these candles are cool because I love the tin, the top, so that you yeah, know, it's like a little you can move it around. Mm -hmm. and what else is in this bag? There's a few more things in here that I can't reveal. Mm -hmm. There's a few things over there that I... But there's one thing we're going to reveal tonight that we did not reveal in our little video that we sent out to the world. And that is this. So this is this is the one piece okay. that we thought was super fun. Um, uh, I, do you want to just bring the whole pile over? I, brought I can, but I mean, okay. let's, so I'm gonna, gonna, let's unwrap, unwrap it. it we'll because unwrap it's it. like an unboxing, but... Yes, we wrapped this very quickly when we were... Doing a little video last week. So we feel so strongly about this product. It is definitely one of Coriander's favorite things. Yes. You and wear them. I, I wear them. Yes. Yeah. All body types yeah. will love this. Um, and when we ask, and if you do decide to purchase one, you we ask in your note in the notes mm -hmm. to believe us whether you like a small, medium, or medium large. There's only two sizes, and mm -hmm. this is the product that's sized. Mm -hmm. We've carried a selection of these um, over the holiday season prior to ordering the summer color collection, and every time we would get them in they would maybe last a week and they yeah, were gone we, we just we're getting a big batch in so for those of you who know our the, you know we sell a lot of um uh same watt bamboo this is a oh sorry but well actually it's reversible they this are is, reversible yeah, yeah this is a bralette ladies and gentlemen so it's not a crop top this isn't not something you want to wear necessarily uh no, you could. to work you could well, well amy could um but it's fabulous when you get home from work and you want to just let the girls go this is a fabulous super soft not much structure but just enough to feel like you're you know you're not just letting it all hang out you can reverse them and wear it this way as well so mm -hmm. you have a, if you have something plungy on you can wear it this way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um they're awesome they are so stretchy um i mean they're true on our website too if you just want to buy the bralette but uh true to the same wa fit um whereas they typically as you guys know do a one size they on occasion do small medium medium largest but think of it still as that one size style like this is a medium large um, and this would honestly fit so many people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, again, all of that um, bamboo sort of model uh, blend that you know and love. So really breathable, great for the summer. If you're like me and moving in or live in a place that has no air conditioning, yeah. you're going to want you something breathable. So there you go. So that's a little reveal. Don't tell anybody else. We're only telling you today. Our secret. Yes. So that you're getting one of those. You just let us know what size you want. And there's like a whack of other things, but we're not going to share you the rest. You can't tell everything. I I think Absolutely. that whole idea is you get a bit of surprise, but know that they're well-chosen products that we love for summer. Oh, Sorry. she's just broken them. There we go. No kidding. <laughs> so there we go. So that is our, um, that was our uh, subscription box. So we were, well, we launched it on how do you find it. It should be on the website. The subscription boxes can be purchased one at a time. So as I said, we're, we're half sold out. So I'm pretty sure they're going to go quickly. And then we're not making any more mm -hmm. until we do our fall launch. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you're keen or, no, or want to gift it for someone else or so get on there pretty quickly and order it. We're actually releasing them next week 
Um, but you can also choose to order all four, mm -hmm. and you'll just get billed as we release them. So mm -hmm. you, you don't have to pay all four up front. And that way you're guaranteed to get one, because we're only going to make a limited quantity, uh, and then that's it. We're hoping it's a subscription so people, you know, continue to do it. So That's there we go. a great question. Um, Jane, thank you so much for being on top of that. Vicky mentioned that only shipping options are being given for oh, ordering. Thank so, you for... Um, Jane explained, but if you want to reiterate... It does say that in the... It says it in the copy as well. That the, the, We have a, a, you know, website uh, app that is handling our subscriptions. And the website app is currently uh, only offering the uh, shipping... Uh, option and you just have to put in the notes that you're willing to pick it up and that's not a problem at all we will refund you the twenty dollars in and change um, absolutely so that'll happen and Alicia is on top of it. she really is she's it's done like pretty well so we, we apologize the system the app that we're using is going to fix this hopefully for the next round but uh, it's not something we can manage it is in the copy so we need to so let us know if you want it picked if you want to pick it up um, and if you're from somewhere else other than Collingwood and you can't get here for a while, we'll hold it as long as you need. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. Absolutely. We've got a bunch of, we've got a whole stockpile of things actually. People have been buying during the lockdown and everyone's saying, when I get there, I'll pick it up and it'll be like Christmas. And we're, which we're happy to do. And yeah. we're, we're very flexible, very accommodating. Um, like Sarah said, just leave a note and let us know. So we just need to know the size of that same law bralette and whether you um, will be doing a local curbside pickup. Mm -hmm. um, and then hopefully in a week's time, you will have it in your hands. Um, I was going to share the news, and of course we jumped right into products. I don't know how that happened. That's okay. But I did want to tell you what's been going on around here. Um, other than the fact that we're all getting super excited about opening very soon uh, and seeing all you guys again, um, mm -hmm. we have hired two lovely, lovely young women uh, as our, summer, our students for the summer. Um, so Hallie started with us a few weeks ago, and she is such a sweetheart. She's a lo she's a local, but she goes to school in Guelph. Mm -hmm. um, she's finishing her, her third year in something really smart. Psychology. Psychology. I think it's psychology. Yeah. She's yeah. She's, she's a smart cookie. She's a smart cookie. She's lovely, lovely. She's going to work in the gift store. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've also um, hired a young woman named uh, Madison. And Madison loves fashion, and she's a little firebomb. We just, she's fantastic. She's from Queens, and she is going to be working with Amy in the stock. I'm so excited. Her passion for fashion is so strong. She's also a local. Um, also local, and I'm super, super uh, excited to channel that energy in our, our style and fashion store. So you see two, two lovely young faces. Mm -hmm. um, and I would also like to congratulate Jen, who I believe is watching tonight, yes, and she is. Carrie, um, who have decided who've who've been promoted to team leads of the gift store. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a job; neither of them could do it full time, but they are such good friends that they decided that they would love to share the position as team leads mm -hmm. together. So they started back this week, and they are they love the store. They run they. That you guys know Carrie, she modeled for us a couple weeks ago and Jen appeared on the show a few She weeks did, ago. yeah. They've both been on our lives. Um, and for those of you who come in the gift store often enough, I'm sure you know their faces. Um, it was like a perfect fit. They run this store with so much um, commitment and passion. Um, they take so much ownership of the product that's in here um, and they love talking to you guys about they it. Do. So they, it just yeah. it made a lot of sense. It made a lot of sense and we're really excited because yeah. it's, uh, they're, I'm so glad that they they could uh, commit to us. So we are really lucky this summer that we have a rock star team. We do. So I mean, we always do, but like this, do, but this, this summer, is, be, this this is the summer. One. This is the summer. <laughs> that said, we have one more position available. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a full-time position or mostly full-time position. We're looking for someone who loves marketing, who wants to work with me on the social media and Amy and Jane, and we, we need someone on our marketing team who will also work as a stylist in the stores. Um, it's a position, it's a full-time position. We're looking for someone to permanently join our staff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so if you know someone wonderful who you think would thrive in this environment, um, we would love to hear from you. Um, and we're awesome. We're great. We're fun to work with. I'm putting it out there. <laughs> um, she is. <laughs> yeah. Me, not so much. No, I'm kidding. We're, it's a great team. Um, yeah. So word of mouth is always, honestly, one of the best yeah. ways to advertise. And um, we know we can count on you guys. So mm -hmm. if you have caught wind of anyone who's maybe looking or might fit uh, that uh, requirement or job description, let us know. Yeah. Email us. And we're, not, or... we're not in a rush. Mm -hmm. We need to find the perfect person. 
we're, that's what we're waiting for. We're, we're someone perfect will walk in the door, so we, we can wait till whenever, but we, we are looking for someone great. Absolutely. So uh, put the word out there. If you put think of someone, there. let us know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so would you like to do mannequins now? Yeah, I All would. Right. And then we'll do the garden stuff. Love it. Awesome. Let me get off the stage. Um, so we, of course, uh, always commit to a few themes for every single live that we try to do. Uh, today, obviously, we want to put the focus on those awesome subscription boxes. And of course, we kind of thought with the nice warm weather that has been happening, um, a garden sort of kickoff theme was where we were going um, with this direction. We have some awesome uh, gift products that Sarah and I will also show you. But in saying that, I wanted to tie in tonight's mannequins with that sort of loose, I'm going to be outside um, and I'm going to be maybe not out gardening, but just spending some time in your backyard or on your deck. Um, in saying that, I also thought it was really funny. I made a very great sign, uh, sidewalk sign that didn't maybe get a scene as well as it should have. That June, in in lieu of the June 2nd Ontario uh, stay at home order lift, was also shared with National Wear a Dress Day. I don't know if you knew that or not. So if you didn't have a chance I, I, to wear a dress today, I'm, I, I wore a dress today, but um, it was, I thought I would at least pick two dresses that we haven't really featured yet, but are totally worth looking at. Um, and I will start with one, which I have to say, I featured this in a window um, and two sold that week. So we have talked about this, if not shown it, maybe eons ago during a coriander social hour. Um, it is a newer line that we've started carrying in the store called Charlie B. Uh, Charlie B, I know a lot of you, I, I talk about it a lot, I bring it on a lot of mannequins. Um, it's a super reasonably priced line. This dress is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color palette. I love that retro sort of patch, patchy work look um, design to it, which is very, very on trend for this summer. Um, and it's, it is a full button down. If you want to use it, go for it. But um, I, I love it. Carrie actually dressed this for me and she popped the collar, which I love. Um, and you could take the belt off if you wanted to. You don't have to keep that on. It is a detachable piece. And it has pockets. Super denim friendly, like a little cute denim jacket. Yeah, top right? Gorgeous. Absolutely. I tried to, I tried to channel, I've used your voice in my head, and I tried to keep a, a, a whoops, a few layers off. Um, mostly because Look at Sarah's size. Uh, it, is a, it is a Sarah size. Um, mostly because the warm weather is coming. Like we're not going to be layering that much anymore. I wore a t-shirt dress with nothing over top of it today, which was so uncharacteristic of me. Um, but I absolutely love the idea of putting one thing on and that's it. I love that about summer. You wear one dress, a pair of really great shoes, maybe some Ilse Jakobsen shoes, yeah. and you're out the door. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, and I love that for even just being outside, lounging. You don't need an occasion to wear a dress. And I'm going to reiterate this probably so many times. Um, especially now, we now more than ever need a reason to feel good about ourselves, feel a little bit, I don't know, feel a little bit more feminine. Maybe it's not for you, but I love dresses and they make you feel good. So pull that dress out of your closet or if you need a new one, because Vicky this is Th perfect. Vicky Thompson says she's recommended a book called Recipe for a Perfect Wife and this dress would match the characters. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Hey, Vicky Thompson, I, st I started reading, I started watching last night, Michael and I started watching um, Mayor, the Mayor, Mayor of East Town. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We just we made we made line to three episodes. Really? Really, really good. Thank it's on you. Netflix? Very dark, but oh. very good. Oh, I love that. I think it's actually on HBO. Okay, cool. Yeah, so awesome. uh Mayor of East Town. Well done. Good recommendation. The other two things that she recommended, because we have a, a social group called the Coriander Social Club, uh, which is a Facebook group, and so we chatted about it the other day. Oh, but the other awesome. thing that she recommended was another series called Happy Valley. Oh, I've heard of that. Happy Valley is British, British, British cop show. Two women in a not so happy valley. Really, really good series. I, I have heard of it before. And Jen said she also read the book as well. Um, Jen should be part of that social club too. If yeah. we haven't gotten her on there, she's a big book person as well. Yeah. Um, I love the white kimono. Thanks, Nancy. Um, it is. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick shout out. Uh, Nancy Ansley is on, and she's commented. Um, it's off white, so it's not a true white Nancy, but. 
It is available online and it comes in a antique rose, like a blush rose color, um, and an alternating, alternating black and white. So black um, backdrop with an off-white lace. They're really pretty. Um, Jane, I'm gonna do put you on the spot if you have the link for this kimono um, and wanna shout that out to Nancy, that would be awesome. Um, moving on to cut loose. I love cut loose. Every episode, I promise you that I'm in a live. You'll probably see one cut loose piece because I'm that passionate about the brand. Um, we have previously shown this dress, and as Sarah mentioned, we do have a shipment coming in, so stay tuned for some new arrivals from them as well. Uh, but again, sticking with that floral sort of garden theme, kept it simple, very lightweight, and linen. Who doesn't love linen? The great linening. I love the great linening. We always get a massive, massive cut loose linen shipment in the summer, and we always joke that everything we pull out of a box is, is either white or blue, mostly blue. So uh, <laughs> this was for Sarah. Well, <laughs> Valda, of course, would approve of that. Um, so again, very simple. It's actually just a little t-shirt dress, um, very easy to care for. Cut Loose has a great story. If you don't know it, it is absolutely awesome. Um, their quality of linen is that of which I have truthfully not seen in years of retail this great. Like we their... wrote a blog actually about, about Cut Loose. Yes. If you go to our website, there's a whole little blog section. Jane and I have Perfect. been having a blast writing blogs. Uh, there's one about the brand Cut Loose, a little profile, and it, it talks about they started off in San Francisco mm -hmm. doing stuff in their bathtub and selling it at the pier. Yeah. I mean, it's just, uh, they're really... Isn't that crazy? Yeah, they really are. They really are. And they used, like, a vegetable-based dye or something and swirled in the tubs, and they would, like, dunk the clothing. Mm -hmm. I can't... I watched, like, an interview with, like, someone years ago when I first started at you, Coriander. You, it was you, really you, cool. You, you missed a, a fabulous era. You were, like, you were in I have. School. I seriously have, like, the spirit, like... I don't know, channeling. 1970s? Yes, <laughs> yes. My mom calls me, if she's watching, she can advocate for this. My mom calls me her little flower child because I have this like inner hippie love. Um, so in saying that, this may be why I'm drawn to the line so much. Uh, but this t-shirt dress is a really, really great cut. Um, if you're looking for something light and airy, that um, Sarah's dress is actually great, although it actually kind of tailors in just a little bit in the bust um, and the shoulders because hers is not a cap sleeve. So um, a lot of the times, with dresses like this that don't have a center shoulder seam, it tends to fit a little bit more square. So we can see um, in Sarah's uh, bust and towards her rib cage, you have that little little bit of tailoring, um, which is awesome. And again, you you want that fit with something a little longer, like Sarah's dress, to have that shape in the bust. Um, with something like a t-shirt dress, you can even tell when I pull the sleeves out it immediately creates this very sort of square shape. Um, so if you're someone who runs hot in the summer and wants something light and loose that isn't gonna cling to you, this is an awesome dress. Uh, and again, has pockets. Who doesn't love the pockets? You can put your caramels in there. Yeah. <laughs> We were actually talking about shipping the caramels. We That's amazing! What a great idea! Yeah. Um, and, Seriously, uh, those caramels are to die for. <laughs> if you Na are Nancy Rosso has literally sold me via Facebook comments, like on how I I <laughs> need I to try let some. I Amy have them because like, she has such a sweet tooth. I think Amy true. has such a sweet tooth. I've, I've held them back. I'm you're gonna find me in the back room in front of the fridge with like Gorgeous. caramel wrappers, we like gorging all over them. We have subscription boxes to fill. Amy, <sighs> so okay, well you guys better buy those subscription boxes, otherwise <laughs> I'm eating the caramels. Um, and for Nancy Ansley, this was specifically for you because we've been talking back and forth um, about a cut loose white over piece. So this is actually a shirt and I had this brainwave of unbuttoning it and using it as sort of an over piece or a jacket. Um, so same idea, it's it's a little bit looser, it's a straight cut. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you because it's. I feel like I'm cheating you. I often pin them in the back just to show on the mannequins how they fit a little bit tighter, but um, you could 100% wear this as a shirt, just button it up or half unbutton with a little same wall lace cami underneath. Um, I did this over the dress because the cut was awesome and in the evenings it gets a little cool just to have something lightweight and breathable to put over top I thought was a perfect solution piece. Awesome. Um, yeah. Awesome. And because we still have garden stuff to do. I know. Hogging I'm ripping stage, it through it. I can't the help color. it. I just can't help it. I'm, oh my goodness. I'm Amy. sorry. I know. I saved the best for last because everyone loved this. We had Jen and Carrie in the store today um, and they both gasped when I put this kimono over top 
out because the color palette worked out perfectly. Um, again, I wanted to feature one of the new Cutler's, Cut Loose t-shirts. Oh, I have that t-shirt. You do I have this t-shirt. t-shirt. The color is absolutely smashing on you. This is a 100% Sarah color palette. It looked great on her. Um, and then I decided to feature one of our kimonos. So I don't know if, I know Sarah mentioned we're getting new kimonos in. Same, same company? Different company? It'll be a mystery for you. Maybe. Fantastic. I, have to I don't her, know. Sorry, I have guys. To keep her not always in the loop. I take it back. So <laughs> we will be getting new kimonos in, maybe not from this line, um, but they're really, really great, very reasonably priced. And I know you are asking for color. It's been really interesting talking to you either at the door or in emails or over the phone. And a lot of you have been for have um, been asking for colored t-shirts. So goodbye to the black and white and typical navies. Um, we launched coloring merch. I, I guess so, and it's really cool. So corals have been uh, moving a lot, and actually these really pretty sort of uh, bright teals and impact colors have been moving. Uh, I saw Vicky say that she got the these, I think it was these, cut loose crop pants, and I'm so glad you love them because they are awesome pants. I think Sarah um, Price, one of our other lovely customers, got these as well, and she loved them too. So um, elastic waist, zipperless, slip them on, forget about it. Um, they are a blend, I believe Lysol, cotton, and linen. Um, they're great, they fit great, they look great, they're not that see-through. Uh, so if you love linen, need something bright and colorful, this would be an awesome outfit for and you. And that t-shirt also comes in white. It does, yes it I does. Should, I stole the white one as well. You did. I'm sorry there's no extra large just left for anybody, <laughs> except um, I think we repeated it again in the shipment that's in the back room. We did, I, I remember you mentioning that. Yeah, so I think it's coming in other colors. So um, uh, so we'll, when we open, you can come in and see it all yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's a great like high low too so it has that reverse seam so a little bit of extra fabric but honestly I could totally see this being worn with leggings if you need a quick easy outfit to like run out and do some errands um, it's a great t-shirt really really easy to care for I um, wore it with leggings yeah hundred percent it's so long at the back you absolutely could um, yeah so if you, I know a lot of you asked too about the fit a lot of their linens and natural fiber clothing are pre shrunk you don't have to worry about shrinkage when you order these um, obviously don't put it in the dryer no, but hang I don't it up think that's the right uh, Jane just uh, posted a, a link to a lovely kimono, but not the not this one. Oh shoot! That's not that one she posted was watercolor. What's the name on that? It's um, on the other side. It's the it's Morocco. The I want to say it was the Morocco. Yeah. Um. So it's called the the Morocco kimono. If you right. need to search for it online, the watercolor kimono is equally beautiful, and, and they is. they keep getting mixed up. Uh, there's just more teal in this one, which is why I did it. I actually thought of doing the watercolor one and it would have looked just as nice, but this one just kind of went more with a t-shirt. So there you are. That is tonight's uh, garden no, outdoor Nancy, fashion have, we segment. We don't have those pants in black. Sorry. No, yeah. We don't, I, well, who knows what's in the next box? I yeah. can't remember what we never know. Wearing. Stay tuned, Nancy. We're getting more cut loose in. Uh, so we'll check in with you about black cut loose pants. Okay. Garden stuff? Garden stuff. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we got this really fun line. I love, love, love this line. It's garden art. Um, the thing is, it's it, we haven't figured out how to display it. Carrie took one look at me and said, what, how, how, what, where, what? How am I gonna put that together? Carrie, we believe in you. You can, <laughs> you can do anything and make it look fabulous. So um, in the meantime, so it's not gonna look fabulous, but we can, maybe you wanna pass them to me. They're mm -hmm. really fun. This is a company from North Carolina. It's another husband and wife duo. It's called the Elizabeth Keith Designs. And everything's made from reclaimed metal and some clay. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's all this husband and wife, wife company. I love that. This is so pretty. So they're really, I mean, this is a piece of metal that they've actually, it's a piece of metal that they've rusted on the other side. Um, this is, uh, can you see Flowers Feed the it's, Soul? Yeah. Um, so imagine this on a. Can you hold on the side maybe so we can have the black? Uh, mm. No, it doesn't work. So not well. gonna work. Okay, we need something solid behind uh, it. Okay. Hey, what about the white lid of the plastic container, which is not that exciting? A piece of cardboard. A cardboard box. She's getting a cardboard box. See the white lid on the floor? No, you want to do that. We'll, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's our Saks underwear. Oh my gosh, Saks for Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day is coming. Father's up. Day is coming up. We'll be open for Father's Day. <gasps> it's my dad's birthday today. Is it? He told me not to say anything, and I'm oh, sorry. So I'm just happy, quickly. I can. Happy birthday. <laughs> Here we go. So does that look any better? That, uh, yes, that looks much better. Okay, so you can't see me, but that's fine. <laughs> um, so these are really cool little pieces that you can imagine putting on a on a fence. So it'd be great on a fence. Um, to if you have a shed, if you're lucky enough to have a, a shed, which would be great. We're gonna. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was gonna, gonna this I, morning, okay, I I was gonna say something about you and Jane getting together, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, you got a ripper snapper. What do you say about Jane? This is, this morning, oh, my dog was so disturbed by these crows that were making a ridiculous amount of noise outside. I don't, is this working? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is working, is actually. Is it working? It, it is. is. No, it totally so is. So this is, uh, old crows live here. Can you move your arm over to your left? Perfect. Okay. All right, old crows live here. Love you, Jean. These are all on. I know, no joke. Yeah, you're in Jean's bad books now. <laughs> She's not sharing any candy with you. Uh, old crows live here. There's like some really fun ones, actually. Um, and then there's lots of bee ones. So as I said, if you have a shed, this would be great. My she shed. Yes. <laughs> she shed, she shed. Bye. My she shed. Right? Perfect. Oh, I am so tired of hearing about his man den. You can say you have a she shed. Don't you think? A she, I love it. I know. I don't have a she shed, but I kind of want one now. So I can put this on it. I do. <laughs> Come on, give me that one. Did you order this? <laughs> I did. Oh my gosh. It's great. It's gardening talk. Oh, Amy. It's, it's gardening kind of talk, out. Amy. I know. I. Uh, so read it. What's it say? I don't know if I want. Um, you're, I, I'm out of the will, Jane says. A, dir <laughs> a dirt. Oh, God. A dirty hoe is a happy hoe. <laughs> What? It's gardening talking. Where's your mind going? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she's not a gardener. But she's going to be a gardener because she has a backyard now. I do. I think a dirty hoe is a happy hoe is fabulous. It's the best. We all need these things for our garden art. Oh, is there man. any more garden art there? Um, there is. Can we do the bee ones? Because I really love them. Okay. Those. We can do anything. As I hold up the plastic lid. Backdrop. Yeah. There's so many wonderful bee things going on right now. Um, Angelina Jolie, I'm going to do this as a quick whatever gab moment, uh, did a really beautiful photo shoot with um, bees, live bees, and she, she had them covered? all covered over her face. It was Ooh. really cool. Okay. Uh, one, one more bee one. One more bee one? To be or not to be? Let it be. Let it be. After my favorite, one of my favorite Beatles songs. This is a nice one. Oh, I love that one. I Beautiful. mean, this could be indoor art too. Don't get me wrong. If any of these ones strike your strike your fancy, but I love that they can live outdoors and they're intended to live outdoors, right? They're intended to get rusty and mm -hmm. be part of your natural environment. And I mean, a shed would be perfect, but any fence would work too. Everyone really loved the birds as well. Okay, I'll we'll swap you back. It's a much longer one. Um, so they're not heavy. They're not, not heavy. they're not at all. They're not at all. It's really lovely on a fence. I think it would be beautiful, absolutely. It's they're gorgeous. They're very, very cool. So now you can see how challenged Carrie is. She's like, how am I gonna display that in this in the gift store? But we'll we'll, this, we'll we'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions, let us know. Some old skids or something. Yeah. Oh, I know it's, it's an arm workout. We could build a she shed. Um, so this one is a little harder to read for everyone. Uh, we come from the earth, we return to the earth, and in between we garden. There. But it's like that's the gardener's motto. They're very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Jane's posting. Oh, she is doing. Oh, it looks. They actually look good. I think Jane. We're gonna put the old crow. Jane's gonna. We can't. Jane and I can't wait to hang out together. And we're gonna put the old crow garden art. <laughs> it was a joke. And we're sitting. We're gonna cackle and and say Amy's name and <laughs> cross our fingers. Cur curse my name. <laughs> and spit three times. And <laughs> oh man. Really rusty. There is a couple more. So they're back here. Amy. Can I grab one? Yeah. Can you? I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, sorry. So this is what they're actually famous for. I thought those things were super fun, but this is what the company is really famous for. Where's its face? Uh, the creepy face? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's not. It's very self-satisfied. So they're famous for their sons. Their sons, they're inspired by the sun, and they do a lot of sun art. So this is the metal piece, and then they have a friend who's in California. That's so Whose name's cool. Michael, and that sits on there. I've never seen it attached. That's well, what did you think? It was just a creepy face. I know. I think, I, honestly, it's really beautiful. And from an artistic standpoint, um, the work that would have gone in this, I yeah, can't even imagine. Right? Um, so this fellow, this fellow carves them in California and, yeah. and then sends them to North Carolina and they cast them in clay. So it's all hand done, this project. 
Um, you just so you get... guys can see sort of the backdrop that it's on. Um, but honestly, they are really beautiful and the detail work in the face is spectacular. Like it, it would be such a cool uh, statement piece in your backyard. Mm -hmm. um, and these ones are quite interesting. So a lot of the plackets that Sarah and I were showing you didn't necessarily um, have them, but with this uh, particular piece, because um, it has the face that hooks on, they've already included a spot for you to put either a screw or a drill. So this would be a very, very easy to install or hang. Okay, so I said they were they were famous for their sons, but they're also famous for their trees. So I don't know if this is showing. Maybe I need the white thing. You do, yes. Okay, if you hold that up, and I will get the other one. Really beautiful. So we love trees. Who doesn't love trees and bees and all those things? So this is another tree, the tree of life, perhaps. Yeah, gorgeous. I kind of love the idea of it hanging against something because the shadow that it's casting is kind of cool. But yeah. um, they're a great size, really beautiful. I love the idea of hanging it on a fence. Mm -hmm. I think on a fence would be really pretty. You know what I, what I'm, what I bought this week for the store? They're not here yet. I'm getting no. all sorts of hummingbird feeders and hummingbird food. Oh, that's great. We're all about, we're all about this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so lovely, lovely tree art. It's, it, see how thin it is? It's very thin. It's not that heavy. I could, you know get my, um, this is the Tree of Life Wave. I think this is really, really lovely. Oh no, that's not the Tree of Life Wave. I have the Tree of Life Wave, but this is a different tree, Jane. But we have that one as well. Okay, so I think, or maybe that was, that last one was the Tree of Life Wave. The uh, last one was the Tree of Life Wave. Perfect, yeah. okay, so let me, that I'm totally covered in rust now. So much fun. Uh, how are we doing for time? You're getting there. So let me just see what else I need to talk about with you guys. Um, I was going to talk about the memo bottles, but the memo bottles are uh, on the website. You can check them out. This is a great Australian line. I think we've shown these before. We have, Very but it's thin, been a while. thin, lovely water bottles that support water projects. Um, and this is a great gift for a man. The mm -hmm. men walk in, they beeline to these, mm -hmm. um, and there's three sizes. The most popular being this one here, the A6 size. And what's so great about them is they fit into a backpack or a, or a, a briefcase. Mm -hmm. They're slim. Um, there's a, a Mickey set, well, not a Mickey size, but a flask size. Everyone jokes that they would put something that isn't water inside that size of and bottle. And that's very sexy slim. Which is the original, wow. if I'm not mistaken. Um, and each box comes with two different uh, cap colors. Uh, the whole that line is actually another great story. Uh, Memo Bottle is also a B Corp certified brand, which is worth mentioning. Um, so for all of those environmental um, uh, people who are conscientious about finding something um, that suits those needs, Memo Bottle is a great company. Um, inspired by a writer, and they're also 100% leak proof. Did you know that? That's why it's a six they're like paper thicknesses oh. uh, yeah um, so uh, you can search for the sizes based on the a6 a7 paper sizes not thickness but or the paper size. sizes yeah, yeah, for, yeah, the, yeah for the printer for yeah. the size of bottles so kind of a cool story that's a cool story mm -hmm. um, all right well I think that's kind of it for tonight I do want to mention that because next week we are <clears throat> anticipating we have a lot to do and uh, just as things are building and building, we're finding it, uh, I, we love, love our Coriander Social Hour, but we just uh, aren't gonna be able to get ready for it next Wednesday. We've mm -hmm. got like a full, full agenda getting the stores open. Mm -hmm. So we, we are apologizing in advance, but uh, you'll have to make other plans for next Wednesday. But the Wednesday following that, and this may be, this is, this is, a, this is an interesting piece of news. We will have our final episode of the Coriander Social Hour. Hmm. So that may be sad for some, but it's actually not sad. We're just going to change things up. We've done this for a long time. You guys have done this for a long time with us. It's mm -hmm. been so much fun. And we're just feeling we are ready to do some new things. Um, and that does not mean we won't be doing lives. We're going to do live auctions. Believe me, that was super fun. Yeah. Not four hour live auctions, but we're going to do <laughs> live auctions. We're going to do a fashion show. We'll, Amy and I will show up every now and then and just, mm -hmm. you know, we'll, um, you, you're not going to get rid of us at all. It's just we think that not this week, but the uh, Wednesday Nancy. the 16th. I'm so sorry, Nancy. <laughs> I know, Nancy. <laughs> I want Nancy Razzle to be on the show. Nancy, you come to my house, we'll have a bonfire, and we'll eat caramels together. Yay. Yay. That'll be fun. I just, uh, we just, um, we're going to shake it up a bit. 
Yeah. So it just won't be yeah. a regular thing. So I know. I know. I know. Meg, I'm sorry. No, we were anticipating a little bit of backlash, so but we're just we're just not going to do it every week. Yes. And as Valda said, we honestly, the silver lining is that we are just really looking forward to seeing you in the store, and that's where this decision is coming from. We 100% um, love doing the two o'clock lives. Um, maybe Alicia will jump on every once in a while, but Sarah and I, I still want to. I don't know if the, we're just gonna we're gonna shake it up. Yeah. And you'll see us, and we will do bigger things. Yeah. So join the Coriander Social yeah. Club. You'll be on. We'll be on top of everything. You'll you'll know everything first. Mm -hmm. um, just you. We know. We know. You email us. We we're still connected. Uh, and if you can't make it here all the time, we will do whatever we can. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna order. We're gonna organize that Guelph bus this fall. Mm -hmm. It's gonna happen. Absolutely. The party bus. The party bus. Meg, you're in charge of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna shake it up a bit. But mm -hmm. we love you, and we're not going away. It's just yeah. not gonna be every Wednesday. And maybe that's a big relief because we can all we can we can all have well you guys can enjoy your Wednesdays. We'll still have a drink, Amy and I on Wednesdays and think of you. Absolutely. Yes. May yeah. you know just stay tuned. Like we'll try to do spontaneous lives. We will try to maybe do unboxing stuff. We we know you love them. We know you love seeing us in person. And for those of you who can't make it in, it, it's still a fun thing for us to do. Okay, but the sixteenth, is it the sixteenth, Jane? I think it's the sixteenth. Yes. Not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. We are going to have an epic finale show. Yes. With a special guest, a very special guest who's going to come up. Mm -hmm. so we want, we want you to show up. It could be like, we please, please come. We'll have all sorts of. We'll do. We'll get the spinny wheel out, the prize wheel. It's going to be a big. It'll be deal. Fun. It's going to be a big deal. So mm -hmm. in two weeks' time, we just have to get through next week, which is yeah. which is. Uh, which is big for all of Ontario. So, so the 16th? Is that what we said? The 16th. So the 16th, Wednesday the 16th, mark it in your calendars, special guest coming here, um, and it will be the Coriander Social Hour live finale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> no, it's... Until... <laughs> no, don't say You really can't get rid of us, but yeah. Okay, so thank you very much again for tonight. Enjoy yeah. yourselves. Enjoy this beautiful weather. Uh, get a summer box. Get a summer box, everybody. Mm -hmm. They really are great. They're great value. You're mm -hmm. going to love it. We're going to actually be shipping them late next week. Um, but we will run out before then. I guarantee we will. Yeah. Based on how many we have gone so far, yeah. we're, uh, we're anticipating them to be all gone. Uh, so jump on it. If you haven't seen it, beautiful bag. Great present for a friend. Yeah, okay, we love absolutely. you. We love you. We love you. Stay safe. Get your vaccines. Have another drink. And join yeah. us on the 16th. Um, and don't forget, shopcreator.com, of course. You guys know the website, love the website. Um, we'll see you 